Hello Cancer, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 10th of April. The cliché work-life balance is one we've all become very familiar with, but it is one you could find yourself grappling with this week. There is a full moon on Tuesday, which is going to emphasise the fact that with such a lot of energy buzzing around the most prominent part of your scope, the chances are you are very actively involved with pitching forwards with big ideas or high hopes or goals as far as your key ambitions are concerned. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, there could be people who are wondering when they last had a conversation with you because your sector of friendship and sociability is also lit up brightly now too. So you're just being asked to just be conscious of the fact uh, that maybe there are times you need to spend for yourself just recharging your batteries, nurturing yourself, ready to go again in the frenetic pace that can be playing out in your job or around key responsibilities. Now the Sun does start this week still in opposition with Jupiter, but it is just for one day. If you are looking for a new place to live, your ambition in terms of the type of place that you would like could actually be very high. But by Tuesday, that opposition comes to a close and it's replaced with a conjunction between the Sun and Uranus. But this continues in the most prominent part of your situation. If you think back, right back until 2011, when Uranus first went full time into the sign of Aries, there's probably been quite a few changes in the way that you link out with the world at large. You may have taken on a greater degree of responsibility. It's possible that you've been promoted several times. Or perhaps you've liberated yourself from a very trying career and gone off and done something much better different. But whatever's been going on for you, for the rest of this week, that whole theme of liberation, or at least needing to enjoy the responsibilities you've got, is going to come very much to the fore. And if your situation is very unpredictable because of the circumstances that you're working with, it could prove to be tiresome. The good news is that this combination is linking well with Mars, and Mars is helping you to link well with other people. And it really can be a case of who as much as what you know in terms of moulding the outcome of this week. But of course Mercury slammed on the brakes late last week and that retrograde is continuing this week. So there could be some cross wires and not every hope you have for the future or every friend you've got is necessarily going to come up uh, uh, in the way that you would like. Also Venus continues to square with the rather oppressive energies of Saturn. For you, there could be a sense of resentment if you're in a, a, a role which is quite weighty and difficult and a partner is not pulling their weight to support you as much as you would like. Or could the contra picture be uh, true? That's something you will need to think about. However, as this week goes on, so the Sun and Uranus feed jointly together into Saturn. So if there are some revisions that you need to make in terms of your organisation to get that work-life balance working more sweetly, then as this week draws to a close, there's every chance you can grapple with this in a more successful way. But in general, try to be very open-minded about your connection to people in positions of authority, the type of roles you could do, the more flexible and open-minded you are, the better it's going to be for you. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Cancer. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.